friends? Welcome back to another music lesson. My name is Caitlin and I'm so excited to share with you one of my very favorite things to talk about. Today we are talking about the orchestra or the symphony orchestra. Hmm, have you ever heard that word before? Now the last several weeks we have learned about four different families of instruments. The string family, the woodwind family, the brass family, and the percussion family. Now in all of these families of instruments, the musicians can perform with the instruments all by themselves or with piano. Now, if you remember, some of the videos I showed you had the instruments in an orchestra. So today we're gonna talk about how an orchestra consists of all these different types of musicians and how they play together. So if you look at my picture here, we have all of these instruments. Now, if you remember our string family, our strings had violins and in an orchestra, you have both a first group of violins that play one part and you have a second group of violins that play a different part. And then remember our viola, which is right here. And then we have our cellos and our double bass. So that was all the string instruments we learned. If you look in the back, sometimes our harp plays in the orchestra too. That's so cool. And then the next week we talked about woodwind instruments. And if you remember, woodwind instruments included the flute, which sits here behind the violins and the violas, the oboe, which sits next to the flute player, the clarinet, which was behind the flutes, and the bassoon, which was behind the oboe. Now, the saxophone isn't in the orchestra most of the time, so they're not in this picture, but that's okay. Our brass instruments we learned about go over here. So behind the bassoon, behind the bassoon, you have, oh, and more behind the, oh, sorry, I'm flipped over backwards. Behind the, oh yeah, the bassoon and the oboe, you have the French horn that we talked about and the trumpet and the trombone and the tuba. You sometimes don't have euphoniums in the orchestra, so they're not in this picture either, but that's okay. <gasps> and then do you see our percussion instruments back here that we talked about last week? They also play in the orchestra. Now, this picture has a piano in it. I'm sure you've probably heard of a piano, and we're almost to the point that we're gonna talk about it extra special in a video, but not yet. But this is here in case a piano would play with the orchestra, which they usually don't, but sometimes they do. Now, if you look at all those instruments, sometimes there can be a hundred people who are on the stage together and it can be really, really hard to all play at the same time. So in front of the orchestra who stands right here in front of the violins and the violas is called a conductor. And now a conductor has something called a baton and a baton looks like a stick a little bit with a ball. It's very, very light. See, watch, I can balance it on my finger. And then I'm, if I was a conductor, I would curve my hands around my finger and flip it over like this. And now what a baton does is it signals when the musicians can play and it helps control how fast and slow they play and how loud and soft they play. So all those musicians, especially if there's over a hundred of them can play exactly the same way. So. The first thing we're gonna look at today is I have a video from Sesame Street about a conductor and he's going to tell us how he conducts a group of instruments. So we're gonna look at a couple minutes of this video here. Okay, make sure my sound is on. Tell me, what is that you hold in your hand? This is called a baton. So the baton, a baton is a too. stick that I hold in my hand uh -huh. to make the movements I do easier to see for the musicians. Oh, why do they watch that? There are a number of things that I can change by the way I conduct. One of the most important is tempo. That's how fast the music goes. Oh, can you show me how you change tempo so with your baton? He's gonna do. So he's I'll try to do that. Let's play a bit of musicians. music, guys, and let's do it so slowly. Look, there's a bunch of string players. See how he's moving his baton slowly? So the music is going slowly. Wow! And now what would happen if you made it faster? Okay, so let's watch. try it faster. He's gonna move his baton faster, and the music's gonna play faster. <laughs> that is so cool! I think it's cool. What other things can you control with that little baby? I can help show whether the music should sound loud 
or soft. Let's see if I can show you how that works with this this baton. Here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm go not going to tell you which it is. Okay, I'll listen really close. Look, he's making really small movements. With that was time. definitely soft. I, that was soft. Yeah, 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 I knew it. Ooh, do you think you could play a piece of music for us? I would love to do ooh, that. Ooh, do you think I could join the orchestra? I'm really good with cymbals. You know what? There is no cymbal part in this piece, but I think there should be. We're going to make our own music. So let's skip forward just a little bit. The only bit. thing I don't is ready for it. Here we go. See how he stands in front of them, and he's using his baton to conduct, and they're following him so that they can play together. So that's a really small orchestra. That was just a group of strings so that you could see how they play together. We're going to look at how a conductor is helping a bigger orchestra. So we're going to listen to two pieces. A couple little minutes for each one and I'm gonna help point out the instruments as you see them and if you can watch and look at all the instruments and see how they're all playing together which is so cool that all these musicians learn their instruments by themselves but then when they're together they can play music at the same time so here is our first one and if you see before I start the video how big the orchestra is it's so big. Now behind here is an audience, so up really high isn't musicians, but everyone in black and white down here are all the musicians of the orchestra and the conductor is the one who's standing in the front. So if I start this, they're applauding. Let's put this down. So at the very beginning, you can hear the oboe. Okay. So watch what the conductor is going to do here. So that's the oboe, which we talked about when we did our woodwind family. See his baton in his hands? That's the piccolo, which is a little flute, which we didn't get to talk about, but it sits next to the flute in the orchestra. There's some violins. Oh, there's a flute and an oboe. Back to the conductor. Look at all of them moving together. Here's a bunch of string players. Oh, you can see a bassoon right there. You watch his movement. Sometimes he moves his hands bigger to sing up the music a bit louder. These are called claves, which is a type of percussion instrument that we didn't talk about. But they sit back with the, percuss the percussionist. See how the music's getting louder? And if you watch his hands, they're getting bigger. video we're gonna see is just a different piece but it'll give you a better idea and there's some more brass in this one so there's this conductor so he's really big because he's making really loud movements there's the orchestra so remember back here is just an audience you can see the brass players back here and they're the ones who are really really loud right now and then all the strings are playing together if you hear them there we go trumpets and trombones and there's a french horn right there if you can see him look at all the string players they move at the exact same time and there's the conductor in the front so all the violins play the same piece of music but then all the winds and brass players play different pieces of music and all those parts the conductor knows so that he can help them play together. You can see how big it is. So, 
That is super cool. The orchestra is one of my very favorite things because it's super fun to play with all sorts of people and there's lots and lots of different music. I only showed you two pieces and there are thousands and thousands of things that are written for big, big orchestras like that. So I encourage you, one, you can pretend, you can take a pencil or something that looks like a baton and you can practice conducting while you listen to some orchestra pieces. So if you talk to a parent or a friend or someone you're with to help you find videos of an orchestra, you can listen along and find the instruments that we talked about and conduct along. See if you can make big gestures when the orchestra plays really big and small gestures when they play really softly. Thank you for learning about the orchestra with me, friends. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you later, okay? Bye.